Oh, I gotta limber up. Oh. So I've had a goal for a while to own my own place where I've got a, either a big ass RV garage or I've got a warehouse attached to like some living quarters, that sort of thing. But it's tough, man. I'm in California and it's expensive. I mean, right now I'm renting a big ass warehouse, but it's not mine. I mean, all the money goes to the landlords, right? So I've had this goal for a while to actually kind of start my own place so that I'm not paying the man and that sort of thing. So what I'm kind of doing right now to save money is I'm actually staying in the warehouse. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's bad. But no, honestly, there's a lot of people that are in this sort of situation where they're actually trying to save money and they own their own business and they'll actually just kind of do whatever it takes to do that. So in order to do that, I had to figure out one thing, right? Where do you take a shower, man? <laughs> yeah, so I figured it out, right? So I figured it out. And here's what I came up with. Are you ready for this crap? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here it is. The pallet shower. Huh? Can you see it? Shower, pallet, down below. Yeah, I can't quite see the pallet, but you'll see it in a second. That's been my solution. I figured it out, man. It took a little bit to get it done. I had the idea in my head. I literally went through five handymen trying to get this done because it was kind of this unique problem. They couldn't figure it out. My dumb ass, who doesn't have any of the tools, anything like that, did it. All right, I'm here to show you how it works and what it's all about. All right, so here's what this is all about. This is a free standing shower, similar to what you would put in a house. It's all one piece, and it's sitting on top of a pallet, and the whole thing is sitting on a pallet rack, if you can see that. So the pallet rack, you know, I feel like you could get away with something else. You could get away with something maybe from Costco or something like that, you know, just some sort of industrial racking. I've got it uh, single bolted into the floor, but honestly, I don't think you need it, you know? I mean, it's just, I think you can get away with much less. This is just kind of what I had, and so this is, this is what I did. Now, I came up with this idea, obviously, because I needed to take a shower, but it took like four or five handymen that I blew through in order to do this. So, and, and they gave up. So I actually had to end up doing it myself and I didn't have any of the tools. And that's kind of why I hired a handyman because they got the tools. I figured this would be an easy ass job, but for some reason thinking outside the box, uh, it's not some of their forte. So I had the idea. I ended up having to do it myself after the fifth one walked off the damn job killing me so i did it myself so don't judge i'm not bob vila i just did it quickly because i needed a damn shower but here's what this looks like on the inside it's got your shower head you know if i was a champion i would have hooked that up um low shower head standard drain you know it's got my accoutrements it's got me me fluffy fluffy shower thing, but it's a shower, man. It is literally a one piece shower. It has a shower curtain up here at the top. And I just drilled this directly into the frame here. The frame's literally a fiberglass. So I had to drill it in there or else, you know, it just doesn't hold the tension. So I had to drill it right through the back. So I guess, you know what is I, how do I get my water? Let's take a look. I'll show you. Okay. So this thing is literally hooked up to a washout sink. So, Right here at the washout sink, you can actually hook up a garden hose. And instead of hooking up a garden hose, I got this four piece uh, spigot unit off of Amazon. Then I just hooked up a straight garden hose directly from this to the shower head. And I'll show you how it's hooked up in a second. The other spigot here goes to a little mm, washer that I've got. You know, that was another problem I needed to figure out in the warehouse is a little portable washer. So I've got that all done. But, you know, I've got these two other empty heads here. You know, part of the reason that I've got it is that I could turn on the water and I can, you know, coffee, something else, whatever. I really didn't need four, I really needed three. But for some reason, these, these spigots or these dividers or whatever you wanna call them, 
they, uh, when they get into three, they spread out like wide like that. And so you get one that shoots here and there and you know, one down the middle and it wasn't working for me. So I got the four piece one, but really all I do is, you know, I turn on, I've got my hot and cold water and you know, I'll turn on some, some hot water. I'm, I'll, I'll uh, turn these up and I'll just let it run and I'll wait till it gets warm. And then when it gets warm, I turn this other spigot, which goes directly to the shower because it's just a garden hose hooked up to a shower head. Close that, give it a little extra juice. And there we go. And let's go to the shower. So here we are in the shower. You can see it's, it's lightly running. You know, the big puzzle that I had to solve with this was this little push button thing. I had to figure out how to be able to get in and out of the shower and turn the water off because the water's way over there. So you don't want to get out wet and have it running and that sort of thing. So this was the key, this little button right here. And that just starts and stops your water flow. So that was the key with that. The rest of it, if you can see, it's just a garden hose with a couple different adapters and it's just hooked into your, your standard old shower head there. So that's how that works. This all comes off so you can use it just like a normal shower. It drains, you know, just like a normal shower. And I'll, sh I'll shut off the water here and I'll show you how it drains. I just released the pressure. There you go. So this is the other part of the puzzle we need to figure out is where does the damn water go, right? You don't want to run, you know, plumbing or anything like that because um, that's super ass expensive. And this is a temporary thing. This isn't like meant to be here forever. So what I did is I grabbed a Barker 42 gallon towed along gray water tank. Now this is the same thing you would find in an RV or something like that. It's um, available online. It's available at a lot of the RV places. It rolls. It's literally this handle and it just rolls. So when you're done with the water, you can literally take it out and dump it. It dumps right from the side. So the side is uh, like an airtight seal and you just pull up on the little lever and then it dumps all the water wherever you want to dump it. But yeah, so that was the other part of the puzzle is how does it drain into there? I, I haven't had a drop of water spilt, by the way. So this is tight and it works. Under here, we just ran a little bit of PVC pipe just to get it to the uh, open top on this uh, tote. And that's it, man. And uh, as far as showers go, I can literally go about a week before I have to empty this tank. So it's great. And now I'm not running showers that are, you know, like the typical ones you would run in a house, right? Like you just don't leave the water running forever. You literally go ahead and you soap up, you know, hit yourself with some water, soap up, turn off the, you know, hit the little button, turn that off, and then, you know, turn it back on when you need to rinse, that sort of thing. So they're pretty controlled showers, but you know what, man, it, it's a week before I have to do anything with this. So. You know, I think this sort of thing is great. It would be awesome for like, you know, somebody that wants to do, you know, a remodel or something like that. Um, you know, that they're remodeling their bathroom. If they, you know, want to live in the warehouse, just like me, I guess they could. Um, but yeah, this is a great temporary solution. Um, you know, if you want me to go more into depth on it, you know, make some comments on it. You know, I'll, I'll talk about, you know, some of the individual details. I'll talk about maybe some stuff I would have done differently. Um, you know, and that sort of thing. So let me know if you dig this, make sure to like, and subscribe, please, please, please click like, and subscribe. You know, that's the beauty of my channel is you're going to get some weird ass stuff like this that isn't necessarily reselling, but it kind of has to do with it, you know? Cause I mean, you know, what, what if you want to save up for a house? What if you want to save up for a place to live? You know, I mean, it's just another way of kind of pinching your pennies and, uh, you know, being able to do that sort of thing. And, uh, yeah, so this was a great solution. And like I said, man, five damn handyman. I finally just did it myself out of rage and stinkiness. All right, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.